I'm on my way to the airfield, but today I'm not flying. Today I will be the entire day at the tower. I'm on duty to provide AFIS, Aerodrome Flight Information Services. It's a very hot day today. I have checked density, altitude, and it's around, it's almost 4,000 feet. Uh, Hedgestad, the elevation of Hedgestad is 1,050 feet. But today we have a very hot day with uh, 36 degrees maximum temperature and 1011, so 1011 hectopascals for the QNH, which means a uh, density altitude of almost 4000 feet. And with a runway of 550 meters, it starts to become a topic of concern, let's say. So if this is something that you are curious about, Let's get into it. My name is Bruno. You're watching Link to Peak. Keep in mind this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you are about to provide APHIS at your aerodrome, make sure you check all local laws and regulations. Okay, let's go on. At our field we have a really nice safety car that we check first thing when we arrive. I hope I never have to use it to support with a crash or an accident. But anyway, we check if the rescue equipment like fire extinguishers, helmets, gloves, etc. are available and in good condition. One of the first things we do is runway inspection when we get to the airfield and uh, I will communicate and say that uh, hatch that info runway is occupied for inspection and one very good tip I had from a colleague is to do the runway inspection the opposite direction where Airplanes will be taking off or landing So if someone would be trying to land or take off they would be coming in our direction So now we have to we check for any debris or trash or anything that could be dangerous for airplanes The sun is extremely high already and it's 9.20 a.m. local time, crazy. A feather, I don't know if this could be dangerous or not, but I'll take it. After completing our runway inspection, it's time to open up our fuel pump. We have MoGas and AvGas at our field, but only for club members. There's a list which we should check to make sure the numbers add up. After all this is done, it's time to choose the runway. Fire up our computer, sit back, relax, and wait for the first airplane to say hello. I will do the voiceover for the communications to translate to English and also for privacy. Delta Mike Mike, India Hotel, ready for departure, holding point runway 26. Delta India Hotel, winds 240 degrees, 8 knots, runway 26 is clear. Delta Mike Mike, India Hotel, lining up and taking off, runway 26. Delta Kilo Whiskey here beam the tower. Request tax information. Delta Kilo Whiskey, hello, Hatchstat Info. Runway 26 in use, no reported traffic. Taxi to holding point, runway 26, and report ready for departure. Delta Kilo Whiskey, taxi to holding point, runway 26, and will report ready for departure. 
Delta Kilo Whisky holding point runway 26, ready for departure. Delta Kilo Whisky winds 240 degrees, 7 knots, runway 26 clear. Delta Kilo Whisky taking off, runway 26. Delta Kilo Whisky, right base leg, runway 26. Delta Kilo Whisky, continue approach. Delta Kilo Whisky, winds 240 degrees, 7 knots, runway 26 clear. After spending the morning providing AFIS service to the traffic at our airfield, it's time to get some lunch. But we don't really have the luxury of a proper lunch break. Luckily I had some leftovers from the day before that I stored in the fridge when I arrived in the morning. And I was also lucky enough that there was very little traffic during my meal, so I could enjoy some YouTube or Netflix. After lunch there was an interesting situation where two planes could have met in the same place. To avoid any conflicts I made sure they were reporting their positions clearly and timely. Delta Delta Hotel report position. Delta Delta Hotel beam the windmills 3 kilometers in straight line. Delta Lima Julia turning downwind runway 26. Delta Lima Julia turning base runway 26. Delta Lima Julia winds 250 degrees 9 knots runway 26 clear. Hedgestats Delta Delta Hotel joining downwind runway 26. Delta Delta Hotel, Roger, continue approach. Delta Lima Juliet, short final runway 26. And the day is coming to an end. There was another interesting situation where a colleague had a lot of trouble starting the engine of a plane. We are spoiled with modern cars with electronic engine management taking care of everything for us. But on these old planes it can be quite tricky sometimes. I have another video where I talk about the two most common fuel delivery types and pros and cons. I'll share the link to the video on the upper corner. Now it's time to pack up, close everything down and go home. At the end of the day the most important thing is that everyone was able to do what they wanted to do in a safe manner without any accidents. That's priority number one in the mind of an AFIS colleague. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Till the next video, take care and bye for now.